what we're looking at here is this idea of sketching what we call half planes. Now, half a plane is exactly that. It is half of the Cartesian plane. And the half is divided by a linear graph, or, or, or line represented by a linear equation. So, you'll be given things like this. In general, this is the way we do it. We've got y is less than mx plus c, or y can be greater than mx plus c. So what we do, we draw this line, whatever it is. So I'm going to draw this line. At, um, now because it is um, um, less than, not less than or equal to, we draw it with a dotted line. And now we're saying y is less than this, so that means it is below. So we're shading that half of the plane, <coughs> that half of all real numbers. Now, if it's greater than, so we've got our, uh, we've got our um, equation. So here's our equation. And we're going to do all the numbers above that line. So saying y is greater than that. If it was greater than or equal to, well, then this would be solid. Likewise, if this was less than or equal to, this would be solid. Let's see this in action. So what we're going to do, we're going to sketch 3x plus 1. Now we know that that looks like, we're going to cut through 1 and we're going to be fairly steep. And because it's equal to or greater than, sorry, equal to or um, less than, we're doing a solid line. So like we said, if it's less than, we go through and we sketch. We shade that part in. Over here, we've got 3x plus 6y is greater than 12. What we do, we've got to rearrange this so that it's in the form of y equals x plus c. Uh, so we bring out, we subtract 3x from both sides. So we've got 6y is greater than 12 minus 3x. Divide both sides by 6. y is greater than 2 minus 1 over 2x. We rewrite this. y is greater than negative 1 over 2x plus 2. And then we sketch that as well. Um, and now what we say here, we're going to draw negative a half x plus 2, so we're going to cut through at 2, and because it's not equal to, it's just uh, greater than, we're going to cut through with a dotted line, and we're going to shade everything above that dotted line there. So that's how we sketch half planes. What they may ask you to do, they may ask you to sketch um, two of them, and then determine the area of intersection. So, now what, uh, I need to fix one of these up, but what we may be asked to do is to draw an intersecting area. So, I'm just going to this one up and I'm going to say where y is oops where y is less than 2x minus 1 and y is greater than 3x minus 2 so we're going to draw both of those and change colors now I know 2x minus 1 looks like this and I know 3x minus 2 looks like this hmm. 3x minus 2 would look like that. So what we're doing is we're drawing the intersection between y being less than 2x minus 1, which is this one. Oh, no, sorry, this one. So whatever is less than that, but whatever is greater than 3x minus 2. So we've got our 3x minus 2. We've got our 2x minus 1. So what we're doing, we're sharing the area less than 2x minus 1 and greater than 3x minus 2. And what we'll do, we'll find that, that is this area here. Here is our, we'll call that 1, we call that 2. 2x minus 1 is this one. 2x minus 2 is this one. So what we're trying to do is do the area above 2, above 2, and below 1. So this one here is below 1. So what we, like we said, what we're doing, we're shading in that part there. So to graph half planes or anything about half planes, we want to written in the form y equals mx plus c. If it is less than, well, then we draw a line at mx plus c, and then we sketch, or we shade. Greater than, we shade above. If it's, uh, if it's um, 
greater than or equal to. So if we introduce that, we have a solid line. If it's not, if it's just less than, like what we're seeing here, or greater than, then we draw a dotted line. So to draw it, we put in, we draw an equation to this line, 3x plus 1, gets drawn. We're saying y is equal to or less than, it's a solid line, and then we shade everything underneath that line. For this, we've got to, we've got to transpose it, so it's a form of y equals mx plus c. Now, based on that, we can sketch our graph. So we've got a dotted line because it's not equal to, and then we draw, and because it's saying greater than, we shade the part, the half above the line. If it gives us two, it wants to shade the region between them, we look at the region below one, the region above the other one, we draw them both, and then we shade in the area um, between. 